Hello guys, welcome to my video section. My name is Olusan Yamed, and in this video section, I'll be walking you through how you can um, design this um, currency exchange website. So, currency exchange website is the platform whereby people come to your site, they exchange uh, currency, maybe they want to send or uh, paypal they want to send paypal they receive maybe peonia so you can just send them maybe okay 100 they are receiving peonia so all these things are what is called currency exchange so i'm going to be walking you through how you can do this perfectly how you can design this so you can see uh, if you have you can see all the listings the reserve currencies and everything you can see everything you can see this is the interface so this is the interface so you can, this is the interface you can customize it the way you want okay so you can customize it the way you want then this is the uh, user dashboard you can see you can see how clean it is you can see how clean it is you can see how clean it is so now we are going to be designing exactly why currency exchange website now if you want to make passive income online okay you want to make passive income online okay you need to go into currency exchange okay though crypto investment is also good but uh you will need to uh be working and working because you need to invest people's money wisely let's say people give you like ten thousand dollars ten thousand us dollars to invest another people give you five thousand maybe in your investment you have like 80,000 US dollars okay to invest okay 80,000 US dollars you know you have committed yourself already okay and if you do not meet up with the target of the people you know you might destroy your reputation okay so you need to work in and get their profit as soon as possible depending on the days but in currency exchange websites you don't know that all you need to do is you have your own wallet that you want to you know you have your reserve so all you call this is what you call reserve you can see with <coughs> where is it you can see the pioneer now this is one thousand dollars in reserve people have four thousand five hundred dollars in reserve so this is the reserve so once people come there they say well, they want to buy another dollar so you can charge them one percent two percent okay two percent times one thousand people you know how much that is okay and you know this thing is turned over once people discover your site and they say you are a legit person you can make cool money okay so this is the currency exchange website that you'll be designing okay first and foremost um if you want to design a currency exchange website you need a domain and you need, you need an hosting platform so i recommend you going for maybe blue host okay you can see the link in the description below or you can go for name chip whichever one you like okay so whichever one you like you can just go for the uh one of the two okay now uh, you need to let's say you have bought your domain you have bought an hosting this tutorial is not about you buying a domain and buying an hosting so i'm going to log into my cpanel and let's begin so i've logged into my cpanel okay this is my cpanel and uh what you need to do it first is to create a database okay you need to create a database you click on databases you go to my sql databases okay you click on my sql databases so you need to create a database let's say i want to create a database exchange exchange so that's the first thing you need to do exchange so you click on create database so you click on go back then you come to user okay you create a user for that database so this user you come there say maybe exchange again so let's exchange uh the password so let's Let's use exchange. Then the password again exchange. So you click on click user. Now you can click on go back again. So once you click on create user, you now add the user. You grant the user the privilege. Okay, you grant the user the privilege. So you come to add. Where is it? add user to database so you click on equity or uh, sorry you click on uh, where is it exchange so you click on um, exchange so you click on add 
So once you click on add, it will take you to this. You click on all privileges and you click on make changes. That is all. So that's the first thing you need to do. Okay. Then the second thing you need to do here is um, if you have a subdomain, if you have a domain, so and you have bought it, then you can go to the file manager. But as for me, I'm going to install this in a subdomain. Okay. So I'm going to install it on a subdomain. So I'm going to go to the uh, subdomain section and add it. So I'm going to click on create. So it has been created successfully. So you click on go back. So let's go to our cPanel. And once you go to our cPanel, you can see that it has been created. So the next thing for you to do is to go to the, um, what is it called? You go to your PHP my admin. You want to import our database. You know, we have created the database, which in, uh, where is it? MySQL. So you go to PHP my admin to import that database. So this is my PHP my admin. Okay, so you need to select your database, okay, that you want to work with. So as for me, I'm going to select my database. So this is the database I'll be working with. You can see this exchange. So you need to visit your database, okay. So this is the exchange. So you click on uh, imports. So once you click on imports, you click on browse, okay. So I'm going to import the database, browse. So you see this uh, database here. See this it. You see this. So you click on open. So once you click on open, so you click on go. So it will import the database for you. Okay, it has been imported successfully. So uh, you can see this is the database here. So where is it? Equity. Okay, I think this is exchange. So this is the exchange. So you can see this is the database. Okay, now we have done that. So we now go back to our C panel. So what you need to do here is uh, we go to the file manager. So you go to the, you can see this is the exchanger, exchanger dot this, this, you click on it. So uh, let me just minimize this. Okay, you click on it, you can see it is fresh. So you now click on upload. Once you upload the main file, you click on upload and you click on select file. So you can see this is currency boy. So you pick this, you click on open. So it will upload that file. It will upload that file, okay? It will upload that file. So uh, make sure this uh, turns green when you are uploading, so otherwise it won't uh, reflect. So once it turns green, just click on go back, okay? So once you click on go back, okay, I think I need to log in. The session has expired, just refresh. So just uh, once you, what is it? So this is the exchanger. So this is it. So you just have to unzip it. So to unzip it, just right click and you click on extract. Click on extract files. So it has extracted. You can reload it. So I make sure, and uh, mind you, you can see that when you have extracted, you can see you have. Um, all these ones here you can see so there's these files here this one is empty so you don't need it so you can delete these files so you leave it so uh, once it's done before you launch your website so you need to do one thing you need to set your database so if you go here this is our database name you copy that copy so we come here so you come to to configure your database now okay you want to configure your database you go to core okay call you go to call because without it if you launch it it will it will expand so once you launch once you go to call you see dot env so at times some servers you will see dot env it's, it's a hidden file so what you need to do here is to go, go to settings 
and you click on show hidden file if i should disable this now you will see that the dot env file will disappear i won't be able to see it again let's see so you can see dot env file has disappeared you can see and you will you will be wondering where is the dot env file it's not in mine it's not in my home so that is what you need to do you can see show hidden files so you click on save so you can see it has appeared so you need to right click on this and click on edit click on edit so you can see uh this this line 13 14 15 is all you need 13 14 15 is all you need everything yes 13 14 15 and this app url this is what you need line 6 line 13 line 14 line 15 okay so if you can see it properly so you can see this you can see it properly line you can see this let me just <coughs> you can see up your line 6 then line 13 line 14 line 15 that is what you need okay so that is what you need to uh, configure these things okay so so I need to configure it then line 6 is our exchanger okay so let's configure our database first the database name is you you delete this you paste it this one that you have copied you delete this this is our username and our password is is it exchange okay let me check password okay let me check the password so my sql so I, I want to be i want to be sure i can modify the password change password where is it um where is it change password so i want to be sure let me just change the password change. Okay. Let me just change the password here. Okay. So I've changed the password. So I'll go back here. So I will just paste the password. Change okay, so that is the password. Then this the URL. So this is the URL. So once you go here, you can see this is the URL. You copy this up to this dot com. Okay, that URL. If you are using the main domain, so you don't need okay. If it's currencyboy.cl or sorry, currencyboy.com, just paste it here. So app URL. So you can just paste it here. Okay, so that is it. So that is it. That is all what you need. So um, there is local host, DBA local, leave this, 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 this. It's okay. So you click on save changes. So once you click on save changes, so we go to our URL. Okay, we go to our URL, launch our URL. Okay, so you can launch our URL by going to the uh, address. Okay, so we click on exchanger.equityusbank.com oh server error you can see this is what i'm saying maybe our password is not correct now let's go back let's go back i think it's okay i think it's one two three so let's click on save changes so this is what exactly i'm talking about if your password and everything is wrong to true error you can see so now let's refresh this and let's see you can see you can see this you can see bravo you can see that in fact I, i'm very happy that it happened okay i'm very very happy that it happened you can see because our password was not correct so that is why it gave me that error you can see so now you can see this is your website okay this is your website so this is your website now what you need to do is we want to configure this we want to add our own this is just the dashboard so we want to go to the admin panel so how do you access the admin panel to access the admin panel you just put slash admin 
eyes up just put slash admin and your username is admin then the password to is admin you click on login so bravo so you can see this so um this is the admin now so you need to do different things here for example uh you need to you need to edit all this okay let's go to the uh front end and let's see let me copy this because you need to edit everything you see about maybe coin currency boy or something so currency boy so you need to edit everything so that it will carry your own uh website name okay <clears throat> so you can see that everything here is currency boy you can see the currency boy so you need to change everything here so you can do that in the admin panel you can see everything here is currency boy so you can see everything so you need to change everything everything here okay you need to change everything here as regards that so what do we do so we go back to our admin panel so the first and foremost you click on manage section and uh, in the about us section you click on about us so you can see this here currency boy you can see you change it to your own at currency boy change it currency boy here change it everything you change it you can upload an about image you can go to canva.com and design an image 500 by 500 so once you finish that section you go to affiliation so you can see currency boy affiliate so you change it to your own so you can see you change it so you go to the different sections like that banner blog call client section the client section here you can see currency boy is larger is this 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 so you can say boy so uh you can see so this is so this robot is just now you can change it you can change the name so you go to the different sections like that so once you go to the different section and change it to your own that is all so the footer section here also you can change it so you can change the uh footer section here you can see this is all right is served so you can change you can uh, put your facebook link your twitter and everything okay so that is that for that so now let's go into you can do the seo manager so you go to seo manager. this one is very important if you want to rank on google so you can see this you can put your meta keywords meta description social title everything you upload your own image here 600 by 315 you upload it here so now let's go to the manage currency okay manage currency now let's go to manage currency you can see the different currency that is there okay you can let's let me delete this first let me delete this okay okay don't let me delete it okay let me just explain to you i want to delete it on start afresh okay manage currency let me see okay so let me just delete, let me just edit it Let me just edit it. Okay. Now, so what you need to do here is you can see you can put your own image here. So now, here the currency name I want to use. Okay. Okay. Let, let me explain this part. Now, this is the currency that you want to list. Okay. Maybe you have your own reserve. Okay. Maybe the reserve you have is 4,000, 45,000, maybe 45,000. It's paper. Okay. Paper. You have paper that you want to sell or buy. So then the manner payment uh, type here should be PayPal. Uh, you are buying how, how what is the rate now? You need to be current here. What is the rate at which you are buying your own paper? You need to be current. Okay. Let me say I'm buying PayPal at 500 US dollar. Okay. If I want to buy from you, I will buy 450 dollar. Then if you want to sell, uh, you sell to me. So it depends. Okay. It depend on so you need to know your facts if it is paper this is usd okay 
So maybe um, I don't know. Maybe different rates. Maybe let's say two hundred. Then you are selling at maybe three fifty. Okay. Then minimum amount someone can do maybe ten. The maximum amount uh, because you have forty five thousand your reserve, so you can do fifteen thousand. Then fixed charge can be like one dollar that you want to collect on every transaction. You can just say well, 1.5. This is your own charge. Then percentage charge one. So this is your own charge. These are your own charges. Okay. And receiving details. So you provide your PayPal email. Maybe PayPal email. Okay. This is where the person, the customer will pay to. Maybe TH. Okay. Let me see. Currency boy at gmail.com. So maybe that is your own paper. So now sending details, okay? Sending details. Uh, maybe uh, the person that is sending, sending details, uh, sorry, what the person will send, okay? Because the, paper, the person wants to buy paper. So you say paper email, okay? Text. It means text so it's not email okay you can just say email okay email because the person wants to buy paper you can see this is paper we configured here the person wants to buy paper so he needs he or she needs to provide his or her paper email you can see the user transaction proof so what okay do you want the user to uh maybe to upload anything so you can just say maybe payment proof maybe the person should upload payment proof so we put it there so it is required so then you can see so once you are done you click on update currency you can see it has been updated successfully okay and mind you you need to if i put this as inactive now you can see you, need, you can see the person will be able to sell so you need to make it active now let's go to other currency so you click on uh, where is it manage currency you have done for paper so you need to check if this is active or not because at times it might not be active because it's active so you need to go to the other one let's say manage currency so you need to go to where is it uh maybe piona so let's configure this piona so piona usd and payment type by choose piona so you are buying Pioneer at what rate? Maybe three twenty. And your your selling must be higher. Maybe you are selling at maybe four fifty. Then your fixed charge you can say one point five, and percentage charge one. So minimum amount hundred. Then here, yeah, uh, you need to Pioneer details. Okay, maybe Pioneer details. Your own Pioneer email or anyone Pioneer email. Maybe currency, uh, currency boy. Okay. Now this is it. Then send the details. So this is the person we send. The person that wants to buy Pioneer. We have to send these details to you, Pioneer. Pioneer email. You have to send the details, Pioneer email. Text. Okay, email. Then. What should they upload? Payment proof. You can just say they should upload payment proof. So upload is required. So once that is done, you click on uh, update currency. So it has been done. It's active. Now I'm going to add another currency. Go back. So let's see if it's active. Is active go back here so I'm going to add like Bitcoin so let's say add currency so I'm going to add Bitcoin Bitcoin if someone wants to buy Bitcoin USD then the reserve amount I have in Bitcoin let me say three thousand dollars okay then this one you can see it's off you need to make it active I uh, miss it active then the payment type for buy you choose coin payments Coin payments, you can see coin payments, or maybe coin payments fee or anything that you want to choose. So, coin payments. So, you buy at how much you buy? 200. You are selling at 350. So, 
this is just for your own discretion so you can decide to how much are you buying, how much are you selling. So minimum amount someone can buy maybe uh, fifty dollars. Then maximum amount because of my reserve is three thousand. I can just say okay, um maybe two thousand. The fixed chart I can just say one one point five. But say then this one will be your own Bitcoin address, so, so that they will Bitcoin wallet address, so that they will pay Bitcoin wallet address. Maybe you now Bitcoin yes yes maybe blah 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 blah. blah. Something like this. Maybe this is your own Bitcoin and wallet address. Then you see sending details. So you click on add new. So what is the person saying? The person wants to buy Bitcoin. So the person must send his or her own Bitcoin wallet. Bitcoin wallet. So Bitcoin wallet text says is for his text, not email. Bitcoin wallet is text. Then user transaction proof. So uh, payment proof. You should upload payment proof. Before you approve that person, payment proof, upload, file upload, you click on save currency. You can see very, very easy, very, very easy. So make sure you put your your logo here. The maybe uh, Bitcoin, you put the logo, PayPal, you put the logo, so that people can see what they are doing. Okay, so now let's go back. Let's go back here and let's check if it's active or not. So let's see if it's okay. Let's go to action. Sometimes you can okay, it's active. Sometimes it not be active. Now we can see this is enough. Let's go to our home page and let's click on refresh and let's see how it's going to be like. Okay. So you can see this Bitcoin. You can see. So this R will be listed on your website. When people come here, okay, Bitcoin, buy with, sell with, okay. This. So if it, okay, let's say if someone wants to exchange Bitcoin dollar, okay, maybe that person is maybe hundred. So the person wants to receive, or uh, maybe okay, the person wants to send Bitcoin. Okay, maybe the person wants to send PayPal and the person wants to receive Bitcoin. So you can see automatically it has converted. So it means the person will be receiving $55 worth of Bitcoin. So once the person says exchange, okay, the person needs to be logged in. Okay, you can see the person needs to be logged in before transaction can occur. So I'm going to log in. I think I. Let me log in. I think I have registered. So enter the sign in. Oh, it is not much. Oops. Let me sign up. Let me just quickly sign up and uh, let's see. Okay, let me just. Okay, you can sign up here. You can sign up. You can see the, the sign up button. So. Okay, because I'm using a VPN, that's why it's charming. Okay, because I'm using a VPN. So I will suggest whatever country you have, so it, it maps the country stores to you. So let me just quickly run through this. Okay, click on sign up. All right, so I've signed up now. So I'm going to I'm going to go back to um, where is it called? So let me go back here. Yeah. So I just want to perform a transaction so that we can see. Oh, sorry. Let me just click. On this one. Okay, so now let's do it again. Let's say I need Bitcoin. I want to set Bitcoin, maybe fifty dollars Bitcoin. So currency, PayPal. I need PayPal. So I'm going to get twenty-seven dollars. Okay, you click on exchange. 
so you can see now you can see the exchange id is here amount to send is here total amount you see is here total transaction fee is 1.75 dollar so it's 1.7 you can see bitcoin to paypal you can see paypal email so now the person will now give is our paypal email okay in the paper email is uth at gmail.com so you click on confirm exchange oh are you sure the function confirm so now if the person has done everything so this exchange is done manually by an operator bitcoin paper so this person this you can see this is the bitcoin address we configured so this person will now pay that amount to this bitcoin address so once that person pay that amount and the person can click on choose file the person can just okay let me see this is the uh, transaction click on this click on exchange requests okay so maybe the person has paid and we have, we have received our money okay so you can see sources you can see spending okay you can see the transaction is spending so what we do is go to our admin we refresh the admin page you can see manage exchange you can see it's already given a sign you can see manage exchange you can see all exchange pending exchange you click on pending exchange you can see this pending so you click on action you can see this pending button you click on action and you confirm you can see the username you confirm you can see this is the payment proof please send this to paper wallets you can see paper wallets okay approve if you have received your money okay if you have received your money i repeat you need to go ahead and confirm approve transaction with that way this is the customer email send that get to your paper you can see so once you have confirmed that, okay i've received my money you can see your profit click on approve transaction then the transaction number yes this is the transaction number i think we made a mistake we didn't put the transaction number okay you can see the person okay paper transaction number we, we need to tell the person to put the paper transaction number okay okay so once that is done so we forgot to add that okay let's say this is the transaction number approve transaction so paste click on approve transaction let's see you can see the transaction is successfully paid you can see you can see this is the paypal transaction number but well, this is not the transaction number you know when we are doing that thing the other time so let's refresh this dashboard let's see so you can see approved exchange you can see this approved exchange you can see so click on action this is the user this is the user now the person can see approved so the person can check his or email and see that wow i've got it in the money you can see this exchange that let's do it again this is not the exchange this is not the okay let's see okay i think this is the exchange id now let's go to another one let's go to oh, sorry let's go to the i don't like that go to the okay you can just do it here okay let's see so i'm trying to do something okay okay you can do it from the page let's go to the page and let's Let's do another transaction. Uh, let me say I want to send. Uh, I need Pionia. I want to send Pionia hundred dollars. I need. Uh, you want to get Bitcoin? So we are going to get Bitcoin eighty nine. So you click on exchange. Click, okay, this is the exchange ID. Okay, this is the exchange ID that we have put it. Okay, we are correct. So now the person wants to get Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin wallet address. Maybe the person just say something like this. So you could confirm exchange, confirm. Okay. You can see this is the you can see this is the pioneer email that we have configured. So the person we config we do it and we do the same thing. So you can see very, very easy. Very, very easy. So you can just do everything like that. You can see we already have pending exchange. So what you need to do, just you can configure if you want to receive email notifications, so you can go to email manager. So you click on global templates so that you configure the way your message uh, goes out you can see this is it you can change this logo 
can take it here make sure you upload your image or maybe imgo so you can go to imgo.com so because you can go to imgo.com so make sure you upload your image or imgo or google or give your any image sites so just upload your image there so once you upload your image there so you can come here and uh, pick the url okay you pick the url and you come here click on this admin you can see imgo you can see the url click on direct link so this is how your message will look like once this is the global template this it will be carrying all this logo wherever the, you are doing any transaction so you can just click on limit template then email template this email template everything is configured for you you don't need to do anything you can see password reset everything sms verification is disabled because you don't need it so you can click on this is where you are going to put your smtp your SMTP details so we click on email configure so you can decide to use PHP mail or use SMTP if you are using SMTP you can use google SMTP smtp.google.com or available port or if you have your own SMTP you can provide it here or if you have no JTP I send grid you can put it there or you can use PHP mail I this PHP mail might go into spam depending on your host I don't know so it might go into spam but it's okay if you want to use it so it's okay then withdraw us so you can see this Okay, payment gateways. So you can configure your payment gateways. Then you, can, you can configure your payment gateway. So payment gateway is what you use in okay, let's see. Okay, payment gateways. You can see that um like the other time people we are uh, they are you can see that like uh you want to receive your money, okay, maybe automatically, okay, you don't want to do manual okay you can do your payment gateways okay so payment gateways active you can configure all this paper you can see all the currency you have listed you need to configure your payment details okay you need to configure them okay like paypal perfect money so you click on edit so you go to your perfect money and you can see select currency usd so you can see this or your alternate phrase you need to go to your perfect money and copy all that okay and uh, also you need to go to if you want to use all your payment gateways that you want to use all the payment methods that you have configured here uh, you are configured on the side the pioneer the pioneer everything so you need to go where is it so this let's go back so let's uh, okay perfect money Okay, let's go back. Um, okay, let's say PayPal. So you need to you can see PayPal email. So you need just you need to put your PayPal email and select the currency that you want to. This is the currency, maybe USD. USD. So you put your PayPal, maybe. Currency boy at gmail.com. Click on update settings. And if you want another currency, maybe PayPal, maybe you want uh, Euro. So you click on add new. So you put your Euro. Okay. So let me just go back. Think. So let's go to PayPal. So paper, click on paper here. So this is the email, this is the coins, the currency. So you can select, you select USD. Okay, click on update settings. So you want to select another one, maybe uh, EU. Maybe you want them to pay in EU also, or maybe Canadian dollars or any other. Currency, so you need to set it up here. Pick currency. Let me see. Euro. I need to know the conversion rate. Something. Euro. Okay. You click on Add New. So you can see in <coughs> range. PayPal Euro name or gate for gateway. So you can just say PayPal. So, but it's not necessary. PayPal Euro. So you don't need. It's not minimum amount charge currency. So this one will be updated. So you can you can set it up. Okay, you can set it up in your payment uh, details, the uh, man manage currency. 
but I don't really need it. So, but that is the payment gateways. Then withdrawal. So you can set up your okay. Wait, okay, this is withdrawal. Let me see. I'm, I'm looking for something here. Okay, manage currency, manage exchange. Okay, manage. Okay, now payment gateways. So I'm still on payment gateways. So you can go to. You can configure all these ones. Stripe, blockchain. So you click on edit. The coin payment that we are, you are using, you can see blockchain, select currency BTC. Okay, BTC, you can see this API key export code. Click on update settings. So if this is your home, okay, make sure. Okay, this is your home, make sure it is your home. Okay. Now uh, what is the call? So you can do all this for different okay. Let's go back to Let's go back to coin payments so you can see coin payments. Coin payments, you can just edit it and put your own select currency. You can select USD or any other, or if you want it to be general, so you can see public key, private key, update settings. Okay, so update settings now. So this will update the settings and also. So when you go to manage currency, so you can see the you click on add currency, you can add another currency if you don't like if you want to add new one, so you can add another currency, you can see the manual. So if you choose manual, so manual means maybe they want to pay maybe by cash or something, and that one is not really uh, really advisable. Okay, it's not really advisable, so I don't really avoid that. So that is just it. Then what have you? These are subscribers. Where you can see your subscribers. You can send them emails. So before you send them email, make sure you have configured your email manager. Make sure you have configured email configure. Okay. And lastly, I will be, I will be mentioning is your logo icon and setting. So you can click on your logo icon and setting. You can see this. So let's click on logo icon and setting. So you can choose your logo, pitch your logo, you can see. So that is just it. And last one is the extension. So I think extensions. So you click on extensions. So you can activate the, this is the top to you. So you, this is the live chat. You can activate the live chat, Facebook comments. So you can configure it. Once you configure, you click, click put your API key for Facebook. Then top two, two, you can configure you put your API key here. So once you configure, you put your API key, and everything will be. You can go to top t a w k dot t u. The custom capture. You can select custom capture random string. So you need to configure it. So I need to configure it. This because this one is the custom capture whereby when they want to register, you can see when they when I wanted to register, I put in some custom capture that could that we call it number that number. That is what this one is doing. Okay, guys, so this is how to design uh, a fully fledged currency exchange website. You can see our currency exchange website is ready. So you can start receiving money. Okay, you can start receiving money, money, money. You can see. So go out there, design. You can see, start your own currency exchange site. Okay, this is it. So if you want to get the script, okay, there's a description. You can see that. Our latest transaction, every transaction that you do, everything will be here. You can see latest transaction sent fifty dollars sent from Bitcoin. Get to you can see if you have one thousand transaction, everything will be here. Okay, so it will make your site looks more more voluminous. Okay, more more hooky, more good. Okay, so this is how to do this. So uh, I'm giving a promo price for this uh, script. Just click on the description below, and the uh, promo price will end in just twenty four hours. So if you do not get it then it's going to double the price. Okay. And apart from that, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to promote your site. Okay. To promote your site so that you can get customers, you can start designing for people, can get customers that can pay you. Okay, huge amount of money to get this done. Okay, if you're in Nigeria, you can you can charge your client 200,000, 300,000 for this. If you are a foreigner, you can charge your client to uh, let's like say Two hundred dollars, two fifty dollars for this. Okay, so go out there and click on the link below to get this script now before the twenty-four hours window lapse. 
one to 24 hours i'm going to increase the price okay thank you guys thank you for watching i hope you really enjoy this and take my spark john go and get your script now click on the link below and get your script and get started now okay guys thank you very much for watching my name is Timmy Zosia I have a good time